So can you guys tell us what um, characters you're swimming for? Uh, yeah. Sure. yeah. So, yeah. so I'm Jack Suarez Kimmel, and I'm a swing, and I cover Zach, Freddie, Mason, Billy, and James. <laughs> I'm Jesse uh, Sparks. I'm also a swing, and I cover Zach, Mason, Billy, and James. Okay. So, how does being a swing look? It's what we do. Pretty much is we're expected to learn four or five characters. And whenever we're needed to go on, we go on. So if, um, worst case scenario, someone gets hurt or sick, but a lot of times we go on, someone's taking a day off or they're on vacation. So what we do is pretty much we fill in the gaps. When someone can't go on, we go on. Yeah. For me, I've gone on, I think, four or five times now, and I've been here for three months. Uh, so, like, there's always the time, like, there was one time where Theo Mitchell Penner, who plays Lawrence, he called out, uh, or he didn't call out, he took a vacation, and the kid who plays Mason, Carson, he had to go on as Lawrence, so I went on as Mason. It's like a big conveyor belt, kind of. Yeah, and just a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, I went on as Zach Sunday night in Appleton, because... Vincent was calling out for his birthday so it's always like kind of on the edge like you will, any day you can go on you're lucky you're yeah you're lucky if you find out like weeks advance because you could find out they could say five minutes to places and someone comes in and says get dressed you're going on so and so doesn't feel well yeah it it's it's just like that it hasn't happened to us, but it's happened to the girls' swings because they've been here for, I think, nine months now. They're part of the uh, older cast. Uh, we just joined recently, but it's still super fun. And uh, maybe one day we will go on, like, five minutes till yeah. places. It'll happen. Maybe mid-show, like, during intermission, someone could fall and we'll go on. Well, you guys must be, like, um, maybe talented, too, because you like, shop yeah, the class. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank but, you. Because for the swings, it's kind of confusing because, like, in rehearsals, hopefully not on stage, it's easy to get two uh, tracks or roles mixed up. Like, you'll be like, oh, that's where I go. Wait, no, that's where my other track goes. And then it's always a little bit confusing, but it really pays off in the end because it's super fun to go on. When you go on, it's like it's like the best feeling when your whole family's out there because all these kids, all the, uh, all the kids in the show, their first show... It was great for them. Their whole families came, but now they've been doing it for a while, and we haven't gone on as much. So whenever we go on as a new person, it's like, yay, new person, yay, new person, yay. It's like an opening night every time we go on. So it's really cool to, to have that experience. Yeah, it's definitely very different from all the other kids because they get to stick to one or two roles while we get to spice it up every month or two with, like, one role. And then we'll be like, oh, yeah, you can go on as Zach today or you're going on as Mason the next. And it's always uh, really fun. And it's basically every time we go on, we get a little bit better. And we rehearse all the time, backstage, swing rehearsals, understudy rehearsals, all the time. So it's like pretty, it's it's hard, but, but it pays off definitely. It's super fun. There's also a slim chance, it's happened before, that a boy can go on as a girl. So we change the name to like a boy name from the girl name. So there's always a chance that we can go on for someone that we don't know. And we'd have to learn them in like an hour. Yeah. So it's that's how swing life works. Yeah. Yeah. One time that happened, it was one of the old boy swings. He went on. Sophie is one of the girls played by Gabriella, and he went on as Scotty. So they changed it was Scotty. really they, funny. They changed Sophie to Scotty. And it's always, like, different each time. Like, if one kid hurts their ankle, there's also the chance that he goes on, that I go on. And if, like, multiple people are out, then... That's what happens because both the girl swings were sick, so he had to go on. And it's really, we're always constantly on the edge because sometimes they'll be like, you might have to go on in two minutes ish. <laughs> and then other times, yeah, other times it'll be like, they'll have a month's notice and you'll be able to tell your family, yay. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, what does School of Rock mean to you? School of Rock to me. It's just a really great story because it tells the story of a wannabe rock star, Dewey Finn, who is played by the awesome Rob Coletti. And he 
pretends to be his best friend. So he so he goes to work at this prestigious prep school. He gets the money, and then his best friend finds out about it. And this wannabe rock star turns these kids, these really square like kids, into rock stars. And they play the battle of the bands. And it's such a great experience for all ages to watch the show because the kids can see, whoa, look at those kids playing the instruments. And there's some jokes in there for adults too. So it's a, it's really a great show. Uh, yeah. For me, it's like it has a special place in my heart because it's one of the reasons I started to play guitar, which I started playing like four years ago. And um, it's always been really uh, nice. It's always been one of my favorite movies. And it's definitely interesting to watch it as like a fan of it and then to watch it as being in it because you'll like know so much more once you're in it you like realize the story arcs are way like a lot of people are like it's cute kids acting but they don't realize it's a lot of work we work just as hard if not harder than the adults and um our story arcs are individual for each of us we take our own however we feel about it and we can add that to the character so it's different for everybody but it's definitely uh fun watching the story and the kids and dewey evolve over time throughout the show and how we took it and took it from that movie being its own thing and made it into our own thing the musical when you watch the movie without the songs like if only you like andrew lloyd webber's songs And then you watch the musical. I haven't seen the movie in a while, actually. No, I've seen it, but I haven't seen it in a while. So now that I'm in the show and I've been in the show for a while, I'm curious to see what the movie's like without the songs. Like, how do they get the message without the songs? So I'm going to watch the movie again, and it's really different, but it's also really similar. Yeah, for me, uh, right before I went on a Zach, I think two nights before I watched the movie, just to be like, Oh, I can take that and put that into me going on. I can take that because it's so similar, as he said, and it's different because um, they, as I said, put it into their own thing and then we make it ours. So it's always fun for the swings because we'll, sometimes we'll even watch the kids from the wings or in the crowd, and it's really fun to like make it our own thing and like be our own individual character, even though technically we're the same character as them. If we could play it. I can go on as someone and do it like my personality and the way I do it different than the regular person and that's fine like we put our own little spin on it yeah so how did you guys get your start in acting um I started acting when I was eight in my camp play in front of like a few hundred people in a little theater um but like this is my first real big time show one of my great friends who I play music with She's 17, I think, or 16, and she's too old to be in the show. And she said, Jack, you'd be perfect for the show. You should totally audition. So I auditioned, got some callbacks, and I'm here now. Yeah, for me, it's... he. Each of us kind of had our own different thing. Some of them have been acting for three or four years. This is my first thing, but I used to do music recitals at a place called Bronx House, which is like a little music school in um, the Bronx. And then I went to my new school, Manhattan East in Manhattan, and um, I was in two of the bands there. I was in the uh, the uh, classical music band and in the rock band, which was me and three other kids and it was super fun but uh a couple months before going to that school i auditioned for the broadway show and i didn't get it but i was like i don't know maybe i'm just not meant for this and then a couple months later i get a call back uh for the touring auditions i did one audition and i got into the final eight somehow and i only had one audition for this and it was super fun and that's basically how i got into acting and it's way more fun than i always thought because i was always like It's weird how they randomly break in a song. But now you realize that it's, like, super fun and super cool. Meaningful. Yeah. So how do you guys balance school? So we have tutors who travel with us. And usually we'll have school in a conference room in the hotel we're staying at. It's usually, like, the least we'll have school is, like, one hour. The most, maybe six hours. So we'll wake up, have school, have lunch, have dinner, go to the show. Um, go to sleep, repeat. So that's how we do school. And we all have, like, most of us have laptops that we work on with, like, online curriculums. Yeah. 
for um, all of us, we all have the same education timing, but uh, for some of us, they do homeschooling without the tutors and instead with their parents and things. But it's definitely like, thank God, like we don't have homework because that would be like way too hard to balance the show. But we just do all our work in class, including what would be our homework. We do that, and it's like. It's like living a normal kid's life, except every night you have to go to the theater and be ready to go on. Especially for us, we're like, always we have to be there. Yeah, we yeah. always have to be there. Because if we weren't, and say a kid got hurt, I don't know what then, to do. <laughs> yeah. And um, the schooling is like, it's, it's a little bit different from home because you get to like, do it with a bunch of your friends. You get to have gym and you get to have lunch with all of them. But uh, here it's still super fun because it's never that, that much schooling. And we all get to hang out like during dinner breaks because we're all in the same city, all kind of close together. So we get to hang out a lot, yeah. We'll even ride to the show together or something like that. But it's super fun. Yep. Oh, that's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you.